what would it be like to zoom in from outer space in virtual Earth, get down to street level, and actually go inside of a building? That's what we'd like to try to do today with this example of using virtual Earth and a new technology from Microsoft Live Labs called Photosynth to transition from an outdoor environment, as we see here, to an indoor environment. In this case, uh, it's actually going to be, here's the art museum, the Seattle Art Museum, but uh, the indoor area is not the art museum, but a artist studio that uh, is used right now in Photosynth. And here we are, we end up inside of the artist studios, uh, Gary Fagan's studio. I believe it's in Seattle. Um, so we're now navigating inside of this artist's studio inside Photosynth. Notice the detail that we can get to. You can actually get all the way down and see the brush strokes and brush strokes inside of this uh, uh, this image here spectacular and this is bringing in lots and lots of data very high resolution image this looks like there's some uh, masking tape on the picture but as you zoom in further and further you'll notice that it's it's just a trick of the uh, of the artist I actually painted on this painting but look at those brush strokes they are just fantastic This is an example of fire, but zoomed way in. Now as we zoom out, we see more and more of the image that was originally painted there. This gives a whole new meaning for, uh, for viewing art and uh, being able to see images, perhaps, that uh, you couldn't normally see in pictures. We're exploring the interior of this, uh, of this studio. You can see this old radio tape deck uh, ensemble over in the corner here. Further, we can get even more detail. Let's look at some more art. Things that you wouldn't normally see, for instance, we zoom in and further and further, you notice a hammer in here, a person's hand over on the left there. Um, this is just uh, just amazing being able to see these types of uh, detail and to have it stream so quickly. I mean, I'm on the open internet here, pulling this down from some servers out there at Microsoft, and uh, it's just really fast. So, virtual Earth and Photosynth combined together.